Hello students. The next topic under the unit fuzzy numbers is arithmetic operations on intervals. We have to learn the arithmetic operations on fuzzy numbers for which first we need to know the idea of arithmetic operations on intervals. Let's star denote any of the four arithmetic operations on closed intervals. So what are the four arithmetic operations? Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now these operations are denoted as star in general. And it is defined that the star operation of two intervals a comma b and d comma e to be f star g such that this f lies between the closed interval a comma b and g lies between the closed interval d comma e. So this is a general property of all arithmetic operations on closed intervals except for a comma b division with respect to the closed interval e d comma e so when this interval is divided by this interval and it is not defined when 0 is an element of this interval so if 0 is an element of this interval this operation is not defined for it otherwise it is defined for all the arithmetic operations now here we have a note which could be a, an important mcq the arithmetic operation on closed intervals is again a closed interval. So when we consider two closed intervals and when we perform any arithmetic operation, it will be again a closed interval. The resulting, uh, the, resu the result of the arithmetic operation on closed intervals will again be a closed interval. So what are the four arithmetic operations? They are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So, how are they defined? Let us see that here. So, closed interval A comma B plus closed interval D comma E. In this case, we have to add component wise that is A has to be added to D and then B has to be added to E. So, this is the addition operation. Next, we have the subtraction of closed interval A comma B minus closed interval D comma E. So, how are we doing this? So, this is done by first we have to subtract A minus B and then comma B minus D. So, this is the uh, star operation with respect to subtraction. Now, next we have the multiplication operation. So, here in the multiplication, first we will be taking the minimum of AD and then AE, BD and BE. So, we have to first multiply all those. Then out of all these values, whichever is minimum that we have to obtain and write here. Similarly, out of all this, the maximum we have to write in this. So, that will be the uh, closed interval that we obtain after multiplication. You will understand it better when we handle it with a with a help of an example. And very importantly, 0 should not be an element of the closed interval D, E. And then we have the division operation A, B divided by the closed interval D, E. It is similar to the multiplication operation where this interval D, B changes like this. That is 1 by E, 1 by D. And now when it is a product in a similar way as this multiplication operation we have to choose the minimum of all these values and maximum of all these values so now we shall see an example under this topic so now here we have an example okay so compute the following the first one is upon addition the operation addition so how we have to add first we have to add 2 with 1 and then we have to add 5 with 3 and so this will be equal to 2 plus 1 comma 5 plus 3 and so therefore this will be equal to 3 comma 8 so so, uh, so this is the example for addition operation the next example is upon subtraction so that is equal to so how we have to subtract first we have to do a minus e so 2 minus 3 comma then this okay so 5 minus 1 so that is equal to because it is b minus d okay so that is equal to 
2 minus 3 is negative 1, comma 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is the subtraction operation. The next operation is upon multiplication. And so this is equal to, I will write it, okay, here, minimum of, so first negative 1 multiplied with negative 2. So minus 1 minus 2 will become 2. And then minus 1 multiplied with minus 0 0.5, it will become 0 0.5 comma 1 multiplied with minus 2 so it will be minus 2 comma 1 multiplied with minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 comma maximum of the same values so 2 0 0.5 minus 2 comma minus 0 0.5 and so that will be equal to now what is minimum of all these values this is the minimum value so it will be minus 2 comma what is the maximum of all these values 2? So minus 2 comma 2 is the answer. The next operation is upon division. So uh, we are dividing these two intervals. That is this interval divided by this. So that will be equal to. So this was A, B and then E, I mean uh, D and E. So now uh, by the uh, definition of the this one already we saw here so it is uh, minimum of these values comma maximum of these values so let us do that here so it's like this so that's equal to minimum of uh, first is a by d so that's closed interval minimum of a by d so a by d minus 1 divided by minus 2 comma a by e so minus 1 divided by minus 0 0.5 comma b by d so 1 divided by minus 2 comma b by e so 1 divided by minus 0 0.5 okay comma now similarly the same for uh, the next will be maximum of the same values so minus 1 by minus 2 comma minus 1 by minus 0 0.5 minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by 0 0.5 so that will be equal to now uh, minimum of we will just simplify and write this so this is 1 by 2 this uh, 1 by 0 0.5 can be written as 2 because 0 0.5 is 1 by 2 so reciprocal of the uh, of, a, uh, of a reciprocal will be the term itself that is 1 by 1 by 2 so it will become 2 divided by minus 1 by 2 and again here 1 by minus 1 by 2 will become minus 2 comma the maximum of the same values that is 1 by 2 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 2 now if you see what is the minimum of all these values the minimum is minus 2 so it will be minus 2 comma the maximum of these values was 2. So, 2. so therefore when we divide this interval minus 1 comma minus 1 by minus 2 comma minus 0 0.5 we get the result to be closed interval minus 2 comma 2. Hope you have understood this problem and the concept of arithmetic operations on closed intervals. In our next video we will learn the properties of the arithmetic operations on closed intervals. Thank you.